I found the best pants. I finally reached the day, the day to thrift all of the fall trends. And I liked doing it separately this time with the fall issue this whole month of really spending a whole video focused on just the things that I'm loving for fall, the things that are inspiring me. And if you didn't watch the video, you can go back and watch it. But one thing I talked about is just this idea of not so much that it's trends, but for me, it's about that brain boost. It's about the new ideas that it sparks and just like a fresh perspective. I just love it. I think every single designer I, I think is amazing. They're artists and to kind of learn from them, be guided by them and just take inspiration from what they're doing is so much fun. It brings me a lot of joy. And so now I am heading into the thrift stores with some of that inspiration in mind. If it's the colors, the textures, the prints that were everywhere, the overall stories that we kind of absorbed and saw. And I'm gonna take that into the thrift store today, maybe multiple, I'm not sure yet. It kind of depends on how I'm do doing. Um, I'm gonna head to probably a Goodwill. It's one of the ones I go to a good amount. It's pretty big and it's a little further from the typical stores I go to. So I always feel like probably there's fresh finds there because I haven't been there in a while. So I'm going to head there and then we'll kind of see, you know, how it goes. And if I have more time and more to find, then I'll probably pop into another store as well. And I always like to come with my inspiration. Um, this is the collage that I kind of made based off of some of the trends that I'm loving. If you don't have this, make sure you go to my website, bjumpstyle.com, and you can actually see the latest um, fall issue and just the different things that I'm being inspired by. Also, I mean, can we talk about this? This is Meryl Raj. I really love the layering here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I just love this idea of lace over a button down with this interesting cardigan detail and then some, you know, ooh, this is like a corduroy skirt with an open cut here. And then these are actually little you know heels that you would think oh i should probably wear a boot but i love that it's styled with some very ladylike heels with socks Ugh. anyways i'm inspired by this concept right now and really so many things these are images from new york fashion week that's happening right now from the street style and i loved this layering I love these interesting socks with these really colorful shoes. Another look that's amazing, I love the texture of the feathers here. I love that they have just simple little uh, heels on with this oversized blazer. And then I love this headscarf. Maybe that inspired my headscarf today, I don't know. It was in my subconscious. These are screenshots from a TikTok account called NYC Trends. If you're not following them, you should. But these are some of the looks that I saw um, them recapping looks from Fashion Week. And I just, I love all of the layering here. I love that this is probably like an overall bib style dress and then it's worn down. I love both of these looks. I love the t-shirt with, you know, this kind of open wrap skirt. Also, you know, I love a floral brooch. So I thought this was really cute or cool styling with the vest. And then we've got the chain detail here. And then even just this big chunky choker with the trench. So those are just <laughs> some of the fresh little things that have just popped into my brain and my inspiration log as I'm heading into the thrift store. And I always feel the excitement and the anticipation of just what I'm gonna find. And then for me, a lot of times those finds spark all new ideas. Even recently, I went to Pickwick and you can see right here, um, I was feeling a little bit not sure of just, I don't know, I, we're in this weird flux right now where the weather is so hot in California, but then it's fall and I feel like for me, that causes some confusion because I'm thinking, I don't want to dress summery anymore, but I really cannot do fall yet. And so I just felt a little bit unsure of just, I don't know, what I'm inspired by. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to go look for an amazing vintage piece to really spark some new ideas. And so I went to one of my favorite vintage stores here locally called Elsewhere Vintage, and oh, I found this hat. This 
hat right here. This amazing, it's called a 1940s tilt hat. So if you wanna look for something, you could look on eBay or Etsy for something similar to this. But it looked like men's ties worn as almost a military style hat in the 40s that they might have worn. And oh, it just totally inspired me. So I picked that up. And then once I had that, that really gave me so many new ideas. Even just the colors in it. I loved the greens, the oranges, the reds mixed into that tie print. And it made me feel some of that kind of menswear moment, also a little Vivian Westwood inspiration. And so that's from that, I, I just went from there. And the green corset and the off the shoulder green shirt from J. Crew that I've had in my closet forever. And then I took the skirt from Norma Kamali, which, uh, you know, playing off that trend that's back, which is more of the maxi length skirt, but even in that more straight style with those amazing pinstripes, just had so much fun playing with that. And then I actually referenced for myself, once I kind of have a concept, then I'll go back to, you know, maybe a designer or something that I think my look is somewhat inspired by and then I'll just even look at little details that they did and so I went to Vivian Westwood to kind of see you know what shoes are they styling their looks with or you know what little details are they doing and so I noticed um, in some of the Vivian Westwood looks printed socks or socks worn with more of a strappy sandal and that's kind of where I got the concept of let's take these amazing you know snake skin orange snake skin print uh, socks and wear them with my little strappy golden Cezanne shoes. So anyways, that's kind of the creative process that I go through sometimes when I'm putting together looks. But enough rambling, let's go to the thrift store. Uh searching out all the new things for the new season. Definitely feeling like the closet needs it, like some sparks, some fresh ideas. Normally I talk through a lot of things as I find them, but the music's a little loud, so I think what I'll do is I'll show you all here on camera, maybe with a little bit of voiceover. All right, let the shopping begin not finding a lot here so I'm gonna just try on a few of the items that I have found and show you and then we're gonna go to another store because this is not the store today. I absolutely fell in love with this Y2K take on a Western shirt. There's definitely a lot of Western happening this fall and it just was a great color. The muted floral print just gave it an interesting detail and I also love how it fits really snugly so I think this will be fun to do some interesting layering with. This button down is simple, but at the same time, it's such a statement. What really drew me in for it was the amazing huge shoulder pads. I, it goes back to that big clothes energy, so just exaggerated. And so because of these shoulder pads, it really makes such a statement. I also see myself wearing some ties with this, playing off of the Louis Vuitton collection that we saw with a lot of menswear, ties, high-waist trousers. And I really do love that this is kind of a creamy color with a really muted pinstripe running through it. This blouse is so interesting. I loved all the details to it. It has amazing dolman sleeves with that interesting print underneath the dolman sleeve. The only thing is it threw me off a little bit. Some of the design was a little lopsided and I felt like because of that I wouldn't end up wearing it as much. Also when I feel like the top is going to be hidden by a layer sometimes I don't end up wearing it because I love to layer up my clothing and this shirt really is just all about the shirt but there's just I think I would have picked it up but because of some of the design details just not being perfect I ended up passing. This blazer is Mary McFadden which I absolutely love. Unfortunately it seems like someone threw this blazer in the wash so the fabric has lost some of its tailoring and great classic stiffness to it so it felt just a little bit worn in in a way that I didn't end up wanting to take it home. I do love this overall plaid. It's so perfect. I just need to find something else instead of this one. Anytime I find a cotton night dress, it's an immediate yes. This one is vintage true and true. It has a really great 
cotton thickness to it. I love the little detail at the top that you can unbutton it. As you can see, I like the idea of wearing it off the shoulders and I see myself corseting this up and layering this under other dresses or over skirts for a romantic, you know, retro revivals moment and also perfect for the weather right now when it's not cold and I just want to do some interesting layering. I've started thrifting really great ribbed tanks, tees, long sleeve shirts. To me, they just come in so handy, especially when they're a classic color like this oatmeal cappuccino colored top. I use them all the time when I'm in my lazy mood and I just want to throw on some high waist trousers. They're also really great for layering. I love to put these under dresses. I also love a great vest with this. So to me, having just some of these essentials is perfect, especially for fall. And I don't have a lot of these pieces so I have started buying these pieces more often when I find them and this one fits so absolutely perfect and then right as I was about to walk out I found these amazing men's Wrangler denim what drew me in was the wash it has a really raw denim feel to it a lot of it has been worn in and it's a classic shade of denim it is definitely oversized, but I think how I'm gonna style this is to do the asymmetric button detail. I actually have a really amazing little button that Lulu from Lulu Philip and Vintage gave me. I'll show you guys later how it works. But you pin it through and button pants in areas that you want it buttoned. So I will be wearing this really slouchy and low waist with that exaggerated drop hem there at the bottom. Already wearing a few of my thrifted finds. This is the button down and then these are the Wrangler jeans. This is the button I was talking about. You can buy it, pin it through your denim, and then loop it through the clasp right there. But, you know, normally there's the button right there, and I just crisscrossed it. I paired it with some vintage little 90s mules, just my big uh, Saison straw bag, and some really big gold earrings. And I'm running out the door, but I thought I would share how I ended up styling these pieces. All right, so you guys saw, I ended up doing voiceover of all the items that I tried on and I also told you the items that I ended up passing on and keeping a few classics, nothing crazy, nothing like, oh my gosh, one of the best finds of my life, but definitely just some really good fall pieces and they all feel like pieces that I can style a lot of different ways. I definitely wanna go to one more store. I just, I have to, I need something to just, get that brain boost going store two also i got these at the last store i am so in with the y2k i mean i wouldn't have believed that i would want these but i kind of like them kind of like them with my outfit i am starting in pants and i'm gonna see what i find i've done most of the central stuff i'm gonna look through dresses quickly and then try most of these things on. I've come into the dressing room. I can finally talk without the music taking over. And I found the best pants. I mean, this is Louis Vuitton to a T. They're absolutely perfect. They're like got the great kind of roominess to them. High waist, that really amazing thin pinstripe. It's not too close together too. I like that more kind of exaggerated pinstripe detail, if you can see that. And they just have like a great hang to them. I like how they're slouchy here at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I mean, if I don't get anything else, I'm just so excited about these. Ugh, they're like the perfect trouser pant. This makes me think of the nautical trend that I'm loving for fall. You know, normally you wouldn't think yellow for fall, but I actually like this idea of pairing it with some darker neutrals. And that is just so interesting and beautiful. You can just tell the construction is really well done and the tailoring, the button detail. So this is a yes. Big clothes energy, definitely big, but I think I really actually like it this big. This is Armani as well, which is so cool. And again, it's got that really great pinstripe. I have another blazer that's really oversized like this, but it's more of a, gray tweedy look so i like that this is that black and white pinstripe and i think this is would be as big as i go like i don't think i would go bigger than this but i think it works especially if you pull up the sleeves like that 
Yeah, I'm digging it. This jacket is amazing. It's suede. Has this rope detail that runs throughout with these stars. Definitely could be taken very Western or you could even go nautical with it. I really like it. If this was the, it feels more springy to me, but I don't know, it's just cool. So I probably will get it just because all the details to it are really incredible. Um, this is amazing, actually better than I even thought it was gonna be. It's very iridescent kind of charcoal color trench. I just think it's like kind of fabulous with this iridescent tone to it. Also tied, it looks amazing. And this is really lightweight too, which I like. It's not too heavy. It feels like something I can even wear, you know, within the next few weeks. This is a little pinstripe vest. I think actually it's little boys because it really fits snugly. I'm not sure. I have a few vests. This is very cute. This is more of that Y2K vest style, but it's more waistcoat, which means it comes down. It can create really that great um, kind of suiting look or a tie with this, fits really corseted. And actually it goes all the way, the tweed goes all the way around, which sometimes there's fabric back there. So I like that this one is just like all the way around. I think I really like this actually. This reminds me of also philosophy. I'll put up their stuff here where it almost was like the 19, I think they said like the cabaret era in Berlin. So I could see this with like some ruffle front blouses and then these trousers. Oh, I'm just so in love. This one is also really cute as well. It's not as snug and it's a little more of a muted plaid. It's a fun kind of print mixing actually with these trousers and not as much of a scoop here. But I really like this one too. And I don't think I have these in my closet. I'm definitely not gonna get the black one. I feel like it's too small but um, these feel like gaps that I don't have in my closet. This is definitely some DIY project that someone did to a blazer. They chopped it and they added this yarn, colorful yarn detail. It's really cute. I don't know if I like how it's fitting me, but it's a very fun idea and whoever did this is amazing. I just think it's like not sitting on me well. These are 1970s navy high waist um, like bell bottom trousers. They're very snug but I really really love them. I just feel like having these kind of classic 70s pants is always a win. Which is like a, having a Bianca Jagger moment and I don't have any navy trouser pants like 70s ones like this. So yes, I'm getting these. These pants are really cool. I don't even know, they're called Scully. And the back has a really cool detail to them. They're definitely very well made and have like all these buttons. They're like a thick chino. I think I really like these. There's the tag Scully. It looks like since 1900. They almost have like a workwear pant feel to them, but very, very cool. I mean, Barbie core <laughs> to the max. These are old limited hot pink or bubblegum pink jeans. Oh my gosh. I wish they were just like a little, a little more fitted. I don't know, they're kind of fun though. I don't know. I gotta think about these. One thing I wanted after the seeing the Louis Vuitton show was a floral tie. I have one other one, but I like that this has some reds in it to play with. And I love, 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 love this idea. All right, so we thrifted it up today. We went to two stores. The first didn't have as many, but I do feel good about the few little things that I got there. And then this one definitely had a lot more of what I was looking for. In particular, those pants that are so inspired by Louis Vuitton. Honestly, as I am looking at the images, they're so spot on. I might even go and do a search on eBay for that tag, which is, I'll put it here on the screen for you, which is the tag, it's like classic something or other, but I wonder if there's a style number or something. So I'm gonna 
see if I can find more of those in different colors because I feel like they fit perfectly and they're exactly what I was looking for. And also just a few of those Big Clothes Energy with that amazing huge blazer from Armani that I think will be really great to style up. And then um, just even like the yellow blazer and that iridescent trench. Um, that's really fun. I looked up Scully. It's a Western brand actually. So I was going to say they feel very durable and like they were meant to be on a ranch. So I'm excited about those. And they kind of hit that equestrian styling that we saw a lot on the runway as well. And then, I mean, you can't go wrong with a pair of 70s high waist bell bottom pants, those navy ones. I'm so excited about those. Definitely gonna channel some Bianca Jagger in those. And there'll be more thrifting coming for the fall. I actually have a really fun one planned for the very beginning of October and I'll have a special guest. Actually, I think there's gonna be a few special guests. So stay tuned for some thrifting with guests. That's always one of my favorite things to do. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. And I put a link down in my video description for my weekly scoop email that goes out every single Thursday. So make sure you are subscribed and getting that fun dose of creative inspiration coming to your inbox on Tuesday mornings for me, probably whenever you get them on Tuesdays. And finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.